and their life force could be a successful life force. Their life force could be a, 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 a one of positive energy, a, a one of happiness that, that that the narcissist person has never experienced or has never received or have it or or don't know how to do that and has and, and it's, now it's taken on the life of this person because they a narcissist person really don't have no identity. Okay, so perfect example. So when they say something like this, when they say this this saying that we always hear all the time, behind every successful man is a Antoine, dog. you said a dog isn't a man. Uh <laughs> yeah. So when when you when they say behind every successful man is a strong woman, right? I'm listening. So is how about that? Because that's basically saying that the woman that ha that's that that man has is one of the main factors and one of the main reasons why he's successful right now. Uh, is he doing right by this woman? I mean, yeah. Let's say, let's just say, yeah. Oh, wait, well, right well, is he doing right by this woman? Let's say, yeah, he's doing right by this woman. Okay. I'm not talking because I'm not talking about the guys that are that are using women and then they're still going out being dogs. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm actually talking about the guys that are actually that actually change for the better become better men, become better human beings, and they actually are doing good things. Someone put, it, someone put it in the comment that says support is different than manipulation. If he didn't have to manipulate his way into that woman's life, then I could see that. But manipulating, like, but, but changing yourself or, 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 or conforming yourself, like I, no man can ask me, well, what do you look for in a man? I'm never telling him that. I'm never telling him what it is that I look, what, what care, what trait. I'm just watching to know what I don't like. Oh, I'm going to ask. Oh. I want to know if I'm wasting my time or not. So. I want to know if I'm wasting my time or not. Because if our views aren't the same, what the fuck am I with you? But what do you mean if y'all views are not the same? If I ask you what kind of guy, what kind of man you like, and you're telling me. I don't oh, know. I like, oh, I like guys. That sag they pants. No, I like dudes. I'm I not like telling. Like don't a, don't ask me. I don't, I even be don't ask me, cause I ain't telling you. I'm watching you. But that's a waste of time. It ain't a waste of time. It is a waste of time because I, I I need to know what I'm getting. Don't put on for your city. I, no, I, I, it's not for me to put on for my. It's not for me to put on. I honestly want to know because I want to know if I'm really wasting my time. But this are, is our 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 visions aligned with one another. What kind of guy are you really looking for? I you don't want I don't want your representative showing up. Not, I'm not talking about representative. I don't want because that person. Because whatever you like in a guy might not be me. And I'm not going to change myself. Like I'm not going to change myself because and that's you what want we need. Me. And that's and that's what we need to see. That's what we need to see. We need to see the who you are. I don't want to see the representative. I'm not coming and telling you, I don't like a man in. I, I, listen, if your pants saggy and I don't like a motherfucker, uh, so my question to be like, so you always wear your pants saggy like that? Oh, okay. I'm not finna try to change you. No, I'm just at. Is it? I mean, if you if they smart when you ask that and you you came up with that response, but men are likely going to be like, oh, men men, not, men are not that bright. So I'm very much so be, be in a space. Now I ask lots of questions to men, and they and they've answered lots of questions that let me know exactly how they think. How they think, how this is like. I just be sitting there, like, okay, I absorb, I, I absorb, and I receive it. I, I ask questions on on when I'm when I'm fucking with a dude, like uh -huh. on some, not also just fucking and sucking. Like if I'm fucking with a person, I'm asking lots of questions that I and I'm so, and I, so wait, you can ask all the questions, but they oh, can't I, ask you no questions. You can ask me anything you want, but I'm not conforming to what you like. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm asking questions with I, I'm like one of those jobs. You know how a job fit you fill out a job application uh -huh. and that motherfucker job application asks you the same question 75 different ways. Right. Because they want a motherfucker to know, would you steal? <laughs> would you tell if somebody stole? Right. Would you bitch don't come in there writing the, the shit in there what I want you to because the motherfucker going out there, oh yeah, they want to know if I steal it. So I'm gonna ask you it in a in a complex way. So that when you looking at it from that space, it's like, oh yeah, because it shit. If a motherfucker over there and they took three dollars out of the machine and I ain't sending it and they and they went outside and dropped, I'm picking it up. It's mine. You bitch. You are that same person who checked in that box over there. You wouldn't steal, or you wouldn't take. You that same motherfucker right there. Don't put on for me.
I that's mean, why I, when I date, it's very, it's a, that's why fucking and fucking with is different things. You don't see me fucking with fuck, fucking people. You ain't see me fucking with nobody. You don't mm-hmm. see me fucking people. Mm-hmm. Cause when I'm fucking with them, my, my whole, my whole brain is on 10 of, so, um, and it could be, we could be at dinner. We could be laughing and talking. We could be on the phone. I could be, I could give you a scenario. I'm picking your brain. Mo, you a Libra. Why why is this not a part of, of, of your curriculum? Bitch, I pick brains. I'm picking your brain to know how you are thinking. And I don't want you, I don't want it to come from a space because I don't want you to be like, you you try to put you try to give me a rep a, a representative of what you are. I want to know what you are, who you are. I will also tell you this. It depends on, it depends on I'll, I'll Say this that it depends on also the age group that you're also looking at because you have to think about it from what, the time you said the age group yes okay. because from the time that you're from a time that a guy is from what from a teenager till he's till i'll say maybe his late 20s uh-huh. dudes in their 20s aren't aren't usually like fully self like aren't fully made they're not fully there so what they're going to do is they're going to try their best, their hardest to impress the person that they're trying to get at. They're trying they're going to try their hardest. Now, if you start dating with dating older guys, maybe when they start getting into their 30s, high up, whatnot, then that's when you start finding major most of the time you start finding guys that are really set in their ways and they're not changing for nobody. Like they'd be like, look, you either fuck with it or you don't fuck with it. But you, I'm just saying that, like I said, I'm not saying it's right, but I'm just saying that it's it's not as it's not as you not, com- com- you're not, you're not, not as complex. Call it, you're not trying to call it narcissism, but it is. No, I'm just saying it's not as complex no, as you guys are what, trying to make it seem. What you're, Sometimes it's just a guy just trying to really trying to get a chance, but that is rooted somewhere rooted. It might be not deeply rooted, but there is a root of it in narcissism. I said it's a trait because I said it's a, I said it's a trait. you become like and, and you you because eventually you can't wear a mask, but for so long. No, no, no I'm, and I, I said it's a trait. I said is I said that is a trait of narcissism. It is a trait of narcissism because you're trying to you're trying to become somebody you're not to make somebody fall for you, even if even if you might have good intentions or not. It's still, I'm not saying it's right either way. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to, I'm just be trying to let y'all see where most of the time guys are really trying to come from. That's it. That's it. Wait a minute. What's going on down here? Baby, they in the comments. Who down there doing the stuff in the comments? Where y'all at? What happened? Hold on. Baby, I see him in the comments. Who is the troll? Where my moderators at? Where, where the moderators at? What happened? What he said. What he said, because I haven't seen his comment. It's been so many flying in. What happened? Wait, uh, they saying the big uh somebody name down here, they put it in there. Oh, they said he's gone. Somebody uh okay. They said he's gone. All right. Oh, and they said it's a her. Sorry. It's, a her? it's a her, yeah. Well, the person, whoever the person is. I don't is. know. Well, the moderators got them. That's why y'all, that's why I got y'all moderators down there handling that. Handle it. Handle it. Not the boar worms. <laughs> Not the boar worms, Mo. Not the boar worms. 
why why do you just be coming up with shit like that? That came from No, Fresh I'm not Freddy. saying like you came up with it, but I'm saying like not how does that shit just be just it just because it's always in my mind. There's a movie Four Worms are always in your mind. No, there's a movie playing in my mind at all times. I don't know which one it is. There's a movie, there's a song, there's a quote that's always going in my brain. Like it never stops. <laughs> so basically your brain is like a movie reel. That's why sometimes it's hard for me to focus because it'd be so many, so much shit going on. Oh, you be, that's why you be blanking out. Why I be, why I be doing Joe Biden? <laughs> <laughs> why I be uh, doing Joe Biden? Yep. Yeah. You just be like, mm. and I'd be like, Maddie, you, you good? You be like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm like, right. something happened. I just be, I just be like, I'm just making sure. I just be making sure. I have to make sure that you, 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 you good. No, you know everything's okay. They said ADHD is real. That's realness. <laughs> I believe that because I can't. It be shit going on in my brain. Like there's a there's songs playing in my mind right now. Which song? Electricity. <laughs> Electricity. That's what's going. That was what was going through your mind, right now. Why? I don't know. So you don't even have to have a reason for it to pop into your head. It just. And this is what a person has to deal with with me, dating me. <laughs> you have to know that there's that as my mind is always going. I'm always inquisitive. You're always on. A, you're always under fire. I'm always asking you questions. I'll leave a question and then come back. And be like, so, um, yeah. I'm going to come back because I need to know, do you still have that same answer? If you don't answer my questions, I wouldn't be answering yours. And how could this be? We'll be, we'll be there looking, just looking in each other's eyes. No, we won't. Yes, we will. Because you're going to answer all my questions. I'm no, not if you don't answer mine. Maddie, if you don't answer mine, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even going to open my mouth to answer Ask yours. me a question. Honestly, ask me an honest question. Ask you an honest question? Yes. I have to think of something. No, no, don't think. <laughs> right off the top of your head. <laughs> ask me an honest question. And I'll give you a, a completely honest answer. To okay. the best of my ability. To the best of your ability. Yes. Okay. Why do you think 99% of men ain't shit? Um, I think that ninety nine percent of men ain't shit because ninety nine percent of men aren't. Why? I need a, I need a reasons. I need um, reasons. Well, I've I've been with lots of men, and I've been with men from different races, uh, from different age groups, uh, from different. Um, and maybe some people may say that they, I'm talking from a perspective of a prostitute, but I'm the person that gets had the opportunity to see the real form that that comes. That, that the man that uses it, the prostitute or the sex worker gets an opportunity to have a, an involvement with, that's the real version of the gentleman. That is the gentleman and it's in his pure form. But you don't think because you don't think because of the fact that it's and if you're to okay, first let me ask you this. Which scenario are you talking Are you talking about like dating or are you talking about of what you just mentioned? I'm talking about dating. I'm talking about sexual experience because I've sat and I've had countless conversations with the with these men. Um, I, some of them have talked about their families. They've talked about their wives. They've talked about their many girlfriends that they have. They've talked about these things. And, 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 I, and I, again, they are races different races they're different age groups they're different sizes they're different looks but they're all men they're all heterosexual identified men that usually my bed when i was in this life mm -hmm. my bed my couch was a therapy session and so i was able to see and absorb the uh, the, tr the the true nature of what they are but because they have to go home they have to go home and they have to go out in public in a facade 
They have to present themselves differently in public. Me, I'm a whore. I'm a whore. I'm trash. I'm 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 on their level in their brain. Like I'm I'm just as trash as they are because I give myself to multiple people for money. So I have no morals and standards. So here we are, neither one of us having morals and standards. And I can pour my information over to you because, bitch, you basically, you're the same thing as I am. Bitch, you're garbage like me. Or could it also be, and I'm just asking, could it also be that when it comes to sex, men just don't think all the way? Number one, they're, they're in a primal, they're in a primal stage in their mind. It's all about, I need to bust this nut. Uh but then there come after the nut is busted. There's also emotional thing, like like you've never you never sold yourself for sex um, for money. No, that's what I'm and asking. So that's because you've never you. sold yourself for money, you don't you haven't had the opportunity to to meet like countless. You've only met probably out of out of all the girls. You 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 will have never had as much sex in your life as I've had. I've had more sex than you. I've had more sex than G. I've had more sex. I've had more sex and sexual encounters than any person that comes in in contact. Well, majority of women have more sex than men at period. But I'm a trans woman, so there's a difference. But you're still a woman though. Uh, here we you're go. Sti you're still a woman. Under, under the guise of that, but I'm a trans woman. <laughs> Let's be clear. <laughs> you're not gonna get me caught up in this, and I'm not arguing with hoes all day. I'm a transgender woman. Uh-huh. I'm a transgender woman. Right. You're still a woman, but you still hey, a, I'm a transgender woman. You're still considered a woman. Got though. it. But we're not gonna go there. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing this with the public, but, <laughs> but, um, I feel that this, because I get, I, I, I get the opportunity to see the unfiltered person, even you as my friend and G as my friend. And like the guy that was over here today that was working on my house or whatever, it's, these men are my friend mm -hmm. and I get the opportunity to talk to y'all mm -hmm. and I know the things of the things that mm -hmm. I hear that I absorb and I'm just like wow and y'all these bitches be really be crawling on their knees about y'all mm -mm. that's what I be saying in my brain mm -mm. no so I haven't seen the difference in any any in any man it's just the, a man's nature unless he's a unless he's becoming a she to embody all that which is of the divine because I think that the divine is feminine and masculine at the same time and I think that that when once you've gotten to that higher thinking of yourself and you get to absorb it it's just a shit it's, it's being awakened and it's just like oh so yes am I going to be with anything else but a man no but when I walk into a situation I come into a situation with the full understanding of what I am dealing with. I know that I'm dealing with a man. And I have to also remind myself that, I, yeah, I haven't met every man. No, that's I, I hear what you're saying, Antoine, right? I have not met every man. But I have met enough to have, there are different variants. I've met many variants Different races, different ages, mm -hmm. different uh, uh, looks, cute ones, ugly ones, rich ones, broke ones, fat ones, and I've and the conversation has been has not has been in the same has been on the same street. It's been on the same sidewalk. It might have started from over here on this corner, but it ended up on that same block. It might have started out over there, but it ended up on the same block, the same street. Mm -hmm. And so I just was like, wow. Okay. Wow. But in, in this is and this is the thing, and this is why I always give pushback, is because the same the, the same way you feel about men, if you talk to a man and ask them how they feel about women they'll give you their they'll give you their own perspective i'm sure and they'll most likely say 99 percent of women are a certain way i'm, I'm but sure Ali, but even even though i even when i hear that 
I even give them pushback. The only reason I'm giving pushback here is because between you and the people in the comments, I never see balance when it comes to when it comes to men. Uh, so that's why I give pushback. So I because I would I would love I would love for everybody to be able to see the other viewpoint. Well, and even when I'm with friends that are mainly men and they give their push and they give their thoughts about women, I, I, I take up for women the same way I take up for men. I'll be like, that's not all women. Uh, all women aren't like that. Uh, you just have to. You, it, if you find this type of woman, it's because you chose that type of woman. I'm, I don't. So it's not even that me is a me being uh, so up gun ho for men. It's just that I want people to see the balance in both so, in both uh, places. Somebody said, Mo, you don't sleep with men, so you wouldn't know. Okay, but Correct. then I can also say that about women. When I tell you guys my experiences with women and y'all are giving me pushback, majority of y'all don't sleep with women. Okay. Now but y'all, but y'all would still give me, but y'all will still give me your input, and you guys will still tell me I'm wrong. Right, I see what you're saying, Derek. Every, 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 even, yes, I, Derek, you are correct. But when you ask me a question, you ask me about men. Mm -hmm. I explain to you, no, and I accept completely right. because of, because of my experience. I also can talk to you about women. You ready? Let's go. Go ahead. I can also talk to you about women, not only because I have lived a portion of my life as a man hello why did you look at my eyes now, oh okay you want me to look at your face? yes okay, i've lived on, let, me, a, let me turn no, my you seat around see, i've lived a portion of my life as a man okay and i've also lived my life adjacent to women when i was living my life a portion of my young self as a man mm -hmm. and when i transitioned fully into a uh, being a trans person i lived my life as female presenting right so you can't tell me me living my life as female presenting and me receiving the things that females receive because and when women are in the comments saying mo this is what she talking about what she talking about because i'm a real woman and this goes on so i'm a fem, fem, female presenting mm -hmm. so i receive all of the things that men give women i receive that from men mm -hmm. that like women so i receive that so when i'm telling you experiences from men and then you turn around and tell me well men don't do that i'm like nigga niggas ain't talking to you on the sidewalk niggas talking to me niggas ain't talking to you on the phone they ain't talking to you on the on the on them on apps they ain't talking to you on the, they talk they not talking to you they think you are so a man gonna tell you his his experience from a man's perspective when he talking to you because y'all having man talk B bitches is gonna tell you the experience that they receive because that nigga probably telling you x y and z because it's still there is still a place of macho how y'all got to operate around each other yeah you know what i'm saying Man, all the bitches all the bitches do that yeah because the girl but he's not telling the fullness he he's not telling you that he presented himself to this woman in a cloak He's not telling you that he sent his representative to this woman. He's not telling you that he showed up to this woman in this way. And then when it was all revealed, now he got problems because you came to this woman lying. He ain't telling you that. He just telling you the problems he having with this bitch over here because of what. But he ain't tell you who he presented himself to be with this person. He ain't tell you that. I'm talking to you from the perspective of I am born male. I have lived 30 years of my life as a female presenting. Mm -hmm. So I have all the male experience that you would ever want to believe, all of it. And I have female experience because I've been on the, I've been on the inside and I don't watch the shit that bitches do too, because bitches ain't innocent. So I'm not sitting up here saying that bitches is innocent. Because I don't I've been down to the abortion clinic 99,000 times with friends who when we was in the club, and I'm like, bitch, again. <laughs> We're in here again. <laughs> who is it? 
So, or, or how many times I done been on the phone? Yeah, helping my friend get abortion money or all the type of shit. Cause I know women do foul shit. So I'm not sitting up here acting like that. Bitches don't do foul shit. I'm not saying that they don't do foul shit. I'm talking to you from the perspective of I receive male conversations to me. Who? What happened? I receive male conversation to me. It says block. I think someone said block. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I receive mail. Okay. What you call it to me. I received that. Mm -hmm. I know I'm adjacent to women. So I'm all the way in the mix. I ain't on the side trying to figure out I'm in there. So, but Maddie, so what I can say to you though, is also this. Because you haven't been fucking with women, I can say you don't know what men go through when it comes to women. What? Bitch, I know what I do to niggas too. As a woman. Nigga. But, and I know what me you, and bitches but see that, but and I know what me and bitches do. But that's what I'm that's my point. What I'm telling you. You saying you know what women do because you're a woman. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I know what men do because I'm a man. And I'm telling you. And, and, and when so when hey, you hey, say hey, hold on, hold hey, on. I want to finish your statement. <laughs> I'm also telling you I know what men do because I was born male. <laughs> let's be let's but be you clear are, here. But you were fucking with women. I was not. However, that's the difference. No, it, that's the only difference. That is that's that, the that, only that's difference. The, that is the only difference. However, I've been on I'm on the I'm on the receiving end of men fucking with me. One, I'm also on the receiving end end of me knowing what women do with men to men. Me knowing, me being in the mix, mm -hmm. me playing a lot of bitch shit when I was when I was <laughs> when I was <laughs> concealing tea. <laughs> I've been a, I've been to the abortion clinic too. <laughs> I play bitch games too. <laughs> there was a time when you went where. There was a time. Where did you go, man? When I when I went to the abortion clinic too, <laughs> for me. <laughs> there were times <laughs> that I would tell the man, "Don't you put your hands in my pussy because it's dirty." <laughs> my period on. <laughs> <laughs> really, Maddie? My period on. You used to tell them that. My period on. <laughs> you can't come over here. My nigga live with me. <laughs> oh. Oh. My nigga live with me. You can't come over here. <laughs> All the shit y'all niggas that had problems with bitches doing, I don't been a bitch doing that same stupid ass shit. Okay, so that means you. So then, okay, so I'll say. So you know that women can be on some trifling shit. I, I never said that women don't. But you asked me why do I think ninety nine point nine 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 because I don't of believe it's ninety nine percent. I do. All all I'm saying is that I don't believe it's ninety nine percent of men. I know that there some. I know that there ain't shit men out in this world. I agree. I told. Let me get that off the. Let me set that for y'all now. I agree with y'all. There are eight shit men in this world. There are men that should be buried underneath the, the majority cell. of them. A large percentage. Maddie, you know what majority means? Yes, I do. That means more than 50%, man. Yes, and I mean more than 